and now added new special uh, code label to control point attribute format uh, prompting. And right here, note circled below point attribute format, that's right here. I have it set to none, it is set to none, but special code label defines the format. And as you saw, when I down, when I hit this attribute format drop down arrow, we had none, attribute, text, and none. Um, so we had three options that we could specify, or none, fourth option. So uh, the label command out in the field, you can see I have a benchmark with no label, so there's nothing there, just the symbol will come in. Uh, we have seven, we have benchmark space label zero, and that means bring in the attribute block. That's the normal points that you see uh, right here. You can see there's uh, just, here the, the symbol came in only. Here we have the attribute, the point number and attribute information came in. The third one, label zero, uh, label one I mean, is for text. That's the uh, attribute text only, and you can see that I got a symbol and I only have the text and there's GIS information there. And the last one, label two, and this is after a code, so you have to have a code uh, right there. It, I think it does work if there's no code, but it will just default to the uh, miscellaneous uh, coded layer or layer zero if you don't have miscellaneous set as a code for undefined codes when you're bringing in symbols. So right here we have 20 uh, benchmark space label 2 and it will be both and that's this one right here, point number 11 and you can see that uh, it came in in that fashion right there. 